Welcome to our second episode of Celebrity Charcuterie. Today we are here with the lovely Tiffany Beeson, one of our favorite Instagram celebrities and YouTube celebrities. Every time you say celebrity, I'm like, I know, I'm like, how many times can I say it in one sentence? Um, and we're so excited. We're gonna be teaching you and everyone else out there how to build a morning brunch Christmas spread. So, I'm so excited. So here we are, it's it's November 2nd, actually, so. It's Christmas. It's Christmas, we're going full swing, and we hope this like inspires you to like build something beautiful, and we're gonna do some tips and tricks and teach Tiffany how to cut some cheese. Yes, I need to learn. <laughs> All right, so first, thi first things we're gonna do is, I really like to set out where we're gonna put our dry ingredients. Since we're gonna do more of a grazing board, we have fun donuts, we have apple cider donuts, we've got waffles, we've got pancakes. Everything. We have a lot of gluten. Yes, it's okay. So, and so what do you wanna do first? You wanna do donuts since they're really big? Yeah, we have you tell me what to do. We have board we're working on today from Pottery Barn, not sponsored. <laughs> so, yes. what I like to do is basically approach it like an art piece. So, you know, whatever feels good. Just tell me when to get out of your way too. No, no, no. Um, so, a lot of times the way grazing and charcuterie works is we do like rivers and kind of like intertwine all things. We layer on different, you know, fruits and vegetables and all that stuff. So, we're gonna start with dry ingredients. These smell amazing. amazing. I can go in here. It's so good. It's fine. So, I think it'd be fun if we just like stack a couple of donuts up and just like see how they, you know, little donut rings. What do you think? Yes, yeah, beautiful. Are you you got you to do some donuts. Put like one right here. So now we always host Christmas, so definitely got to try. I but feel she tells me to put it on, then she moves it. No. <laughs> what do you think? You want to do waffles, pancakes? Where are we putting it? Well, we're gonna we're gonna see how we feel. Okay. But I, I I'd like to think maybe out. we'll enter this area of the board since we've got some dry stuff over here. Okay. So you want to- I lay, was thinking waffles too. You want to lay some waffles down? Yes. The main thing for Christmas with us is that I try to make it just like fun for the kids. Yes. It's all about the kids. Uh, where do I put the third one? Uh, right there. So I really love always doing threes or fives. Odd numbers is very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, okay. Yes. How did you learn that? Art school. Okay. And finally paid off. I don't know that. My dad's <laughs> like, sure, go get an art degree. What will we do after that? Um, and here I am, Dad. This is what we're doing. So this is art. This is th this is art. art. This is actually art. And usually, what you want to do when you have multiple ingredients, you have dry ingredients, you have fruit, specials, whatever. You kind of want to lay all those on the board so they're not all next to each other. Because if you start building the board and you have already put down all the grapes and all the blueberries in one pile, it'll kind of just be like, well, you want something. If you're over here, or you're standing over here, and the kids are over here, everybody can get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. Okay, so That's step one is dry ingredients. Step one is always dry ingredients for me. All right. But anybody like can it. approach the board, you know, how they want. I like direction. I, I like direction. direction. Um, these cute little chocolate croissants. Look at these cuties. They're very cute. Come on. There you go. I'm nervous. Threes. You do that, and I'll do the pancakes. Okay. I love these I'm pancakes. trying to spread them out. Is that okay? It's perfect. I gotta make, what are they, rivers? Rivers, yeah. Well, those are kind of more like mountains. Okay, but, but I have um, a mountain over here. Th these are more like rivers. Yeah, I like so. that. So, um, then we got these fun. You guys have Trader Joe's? We do. We it's have... a little bit further, so we don't go as much. But I do love when we go. Oh. Well, we got these cute little cranberry oatmeal with like icing, and like if you look really closely, they have like little red specks. So I love them for Christmas, and you can dunk them in the coffee and everything like that. I love it. That looks really. I oh, this, really these are really pretty. We'll do close ups and stuff. Don't yeah, worry. we'll do. Don't worry. We'll get you guys real close, and we'll do some some airplane bird views. Where would where would you put these? Would you put them over here? Where I'm just trying to. Where would I put them? Yeah, I was gonna put these two okay. here, and I thought maybe we put some more over there. See, see, I'm just trying to put all the like with the like, so that's good to know. No, it's good. Don't do that. We wanna. <laughs> no, no, no. It really is just a matter of how you keep moving through the board, and just because you set it down doesn't mean it has to live there forever. Right. We are not it. trees. Yeah. We can lift up and move. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So definitely not trees. Not trees. They're birds. So I have a couple of these really yummy, they're also from Trader Joe's. They're maple almonds. Yum. Take some. Or I can just hold them for you. It's good. Um and <laughs> hold my almond. Hold my nuts. Hold okay. my nuts. Yes, please. Hold okay, my nuts. and I, I'm just gonna put a little cluster here. It's not gonna be the last time we touch these nuts during the <laughs> during the board. So immature, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry. Okay, 
Okay, we've also got some of these cute, like, are they called strudels? Struples, right? Struples. So what's your, what's your favorite? Out of all eat, these things eat, here? Like, what would you go for first? Like, what's your the favorite? The donut. The donut? Yeah. Okay. I would go for the apple cider donut. Here, you take, why don't you take three of the light colored ones, and then I'll take three of the dark colored ones. Okay. You go first. Okay, you're going over there. I'm going over there. See, my problem is that I like things a little bit symmetrical, but you're saying I know, people but are this gonna is, be like all over the place. We're asymmetrical, we're abstract, so, yes. we're free flowing, and it's it's the only way to be. Is it killing you that I put it right here? Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yeah. It's gotta be a little bit more like, mm, okay, like, you know? Because everything's gonna get piled up. Like it's okay. gonna be a big moment. All right, so we're gonna take a break from some of the dry ingredients, and we're gonna hit up the grapes, okay. because they're they're calling my name. All right, so we got some green grapes. If you want to grab these, and I'm gonna grab these. I'm a little and bit sad that they can't see how pretty everything is set out. Should we do it, a little pan? You should because it's really pretty right now. Can you I love all the have everything laid out. So pretty. You had to capture that. I had to capture it. I could have let that moment go. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do? Fruit on the board. It's amazing to use food safe scissors so you can cut it up so you can have a little green grapes over there and a little green grapes over here. Because my goal always with our grazing tables, grazing boards, cheese boards is that if you have somebody standing on the other side, they can still enjoy what we're enjoying yeah. and not have to be like, excuse me. That makes sense. You know, so you want to have a little moment for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do my moment over here. And where are you going to do your moment? It doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical, but it has to be on that side of the board. So where are you going to go? I kind of want to put it over here. Go ahead. I, mean, I knew you were going to want to go there. You knew it. It's, just, knew it. it's just my style. <laughs> and we'll also set some purple grapes down too. Now we're going to go far away from the green grapes. Okay. Because you want them to have their own. Their own moment. Yeah. So this is just cute little one. You know mm -hmm. I want to put them here, but I know I you know. don't want them there. Here? Yep. Here. I like that. It's on there. So I love that. Put some grapes on there. So what do you want to do next? We've got some big grapefruits that I think would make a, ba a big statement on the board. Do you want to do that? I think I wanted to go right here. Perfect! See? Look at you! On the fly. Here you go. You can do mine over here. So I love the green versus the, the grapefruit right here. I love the contrast yeah, of the color. Like pretty. I think we should put some pomegranate on. Yeah, I love that. I never thought to put pomegranate on like that. I've always oh, loved yeah. pomegranate. And there's so many different ways you can slice them up. I just thought... I like how you show the white a little bit for Christmas. Do you ever just do the seed? Yeah, we got the sneaky sneaky. Oh, hey. Right hey. hey. That's like my final. I think we need to have a little sip. Yes. This is so pretty, by the way. If you have to show this up close, like all no. these little details, you're just no. missing it. They're so beautiful. We got some nice. Um, I'm totally doing this. We got some nice. Uh, 24 karat edible gold cranberries. I love that. The golds and the that's glitters, cool. that's my kind of like motto. That's what I'm known for. We always stay with that too, just because it can go with so much, like any theme that it's we're basically doing. Basically a neutral. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I like to say. So is leopard, but nobody else agrees with that. I agree with that. Okay. 100%. Are we on the same page with <laughs> yes. the leopard? Okay. All right, so now, because our board's starting to get a little bit heavy, We'll put some cheese on the board. So I did get a cranberry goat cheese, which I love, very fun for Christmas. And if you don't have a store that sells it, all you have to do is roll cranberry cranberries on the outside with saran wrap and you'll have cranberry goat cheese like on the outside. Oh. So very easy to make at home if you can't find it. I'm gonna lay some cranberry goat cheese up here and I love to like layer them in a little river. And we're gonna keep them away from our pomegranates because they kind of look the same. So okay. I'm not gonna tell you, yes! Perfect. Yes. Yes. Right, so now I have this yummy, yummy truffle cheese with cinnamon on top. Again, if you can't find this at Trader Joe's or near you, you can just literally put cinnamon on top and it makes the most amazing combination you would never think of or try. So I'm going to slice this up a little bit just to put it on the board and it'll be... Do you kind of let the grocery store tell you what to get? No, I just like <laughs> see what looks interesting. And then of course we're going off of, okay, what makes me feel like it's Christmas or but That's fall. what I mean, like you go and then you let it guide you? Yes. Like what, okay. Yes. I've never you been... You never know what you're going to have. Yeah, I've never been maybe. one to be like, oh, I know they have this there. Yeah. You know, I know they have their flyers, but I yeah. never read them. Yeah. And so... Plus you never know what's actually going to be there. Exactly. Actually, um hosting a Christmas mixer. Ooh, girl. Um, with Hallmark. <gasps> so 
So that's amazing. This is giving me some great ideas. Yes. I love this. I love that. And now you're going to be building theme ones for every holiday. I feel like I'll get inspired. No, I definitely will. And I noticed that like, even not that it's pretty, but when I cut up things for my kids and put it out like on a board, they are more interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh. layer some. do you want to layer some of this cheese? Or do you want me to handle it? You can handle the okay. cheese. I love this kiwi. Now I need to cut kiwi like this. They're so cute, right? I love it. Love all these. Just to graze on all, all yes. of these things. And you know, I think what grazing is taking off rather than traditional catering is you've gone to so many events, so many parties, and there's a traditional catering menu in front of you, and you're like, mm, not today. Or you're vegan, or you're dairy free, or you're you have allergies and so it can be so restricting to the party and I feel like people don't enjoy themselves as yeah. much. Whereas grazing, you know, I do these grazing tables with 150 ingredients on the table. There's something for everyone Yeah. and people love to snack and they feel like, okay, if I have a little bit of this, 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 like the palate yeah. goes on this journey and it's something that I found like people are very interested in that experience. Especially when you're like just like sitting around talking. Right. Yeah. Well, and I feel like also it's, it speaks for itself. It's like a work of art too. Yeah, so it really it's a is. conversation start. If you're more of an introvert and you're hosting, if you have something here, it takes the pressure off of you. Be like, welcome to my house. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. like, oh wow, this is a beautiful spread. Like, did you mm -hmm. make it? Like, yeah. how did you do it? So conversation starter, I love that. Kiwis, kiwi stars, but I feel like are so good for Christmas. They the are, stars. I love them. And we're gonna put some of these out. Where are you feeling? Should I do mine first and then you see where you're Yeah, yeah. The thing I love about Christmas is that we can put the red next to the green, whereas usually when I'm building yeah. boards, I'm kind of like, oh, go right there. I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to put the red next to the green because it looks like Christmas. Well, today, yeah, that's what we want. We host everything, so this is great that you're finally teaching me. I love that. All right, how about we do some cantaloupe slices? Do you feel... I mean, I feel like it's getting a little bit scary because don't be scared. It's gonna. Put we're it. putting so much on this board. Okay. We have you want to move this? Feel free to move it. No, I love that. Okay. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, okay. So how about we do some smoked salmon? Do you like smoked salmon? I've actually never had it, but I love salmon. I love sushi. This this has everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Yeah. So I think we'll put some like right here. I, I like it there. Do you want to do it? You want me to do it? You can do it. Uh, what do people usually eat that? Just like pick it up with Yeah, they do. Honestly, well, usually I put out like gourmet toothpicks and things like okay. that. Like these. Yeah. And you can stab them. Or, you know, sometimes they'll have bagels on the spread and they'll put them on the bagel. So, but you'd be surprised. People, people love this stuff. Yeah. Look, who are you pointing to? I, I know people put it there. on their uh, bagels with cream cheese, right? Yep. <clears throat> so Chris's version of this is honey turkey. Honey on, turkey. on his bagel with cream cheese is actually amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll slice all some chocolate. figs. We got some green figs over today. And when you cut them open, they're so beautiful. Do you know what a fig is? Oh yeah, I love figs. But do you know what it is? No. It's an inverted flower. Oh, yes. yeah, I definitely did not know that. Green figs, I love. I think they're so fun. And I, I think they're gonna work out great for our board because they're red inside. So we've got green on the outside, but on the inside. Okay. Don't be mad at my blueberries. Okay? No, they're beautiful. Okay. Absolutely love it. <laughs> we actually, I used to, I worked in salons, like hair salons as a receptionist since I was like 13. My sister was a manager and we had this Italian woman, Bambi, who would bring us the most delicious figs and she would put them in an egg carton. That's so cute. Them in like that and like give them out and they were the best things ever. I will never forget well, maybe that. Maybe you can give her. me her number. She's still yeah. passing out figs. <laughs> Seriously. It's hard to find figs because once they're not in the store, they're not in the store. So. Yeah. All right. So I snuck a little bit of figs on there. I'm going to do some blackberries. You want to do some cranberries? Sure. And feel free if you want to just do a pile of cranberries here and a pile of cranberries there. Like, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna do one of these up here. I feel like one thing that I wouldn't know is like how much stuff to get. Oh, I'll you probably just get go too much. and go and go. It's a learning process, and you start to learn. I okay, like, is it too much of the same color there? Yeah, no? yeah. Yes. You always want to do like dried fruits, fresh fruits, cheeses, carbs. You want to get on the whole journey of like the palate. Chocolate. Chocolate. We've got chocolate. Always We've chocolate. got the mini Reese cups too, which I love. So these are some fun little snow caps with some Christmas colors on them. They're really cute. I like those. So there was a lot of Christmas stuff in stores already. There was. It's amazing. Which I'm glad about because we decided yeah. like literally in two seconds. You're yeah. like, oh, let's do Christmas. And yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 
they but work. But I'm glad, I'm glad. Because yeah. now I'm also like in the mode, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Because I have a holiday launch coming soon. So yeah. You could switch me. if you want. We could do like one here, one here. Like it's all about now. Yeah. We can just like pile everything, you know? Okay. Um, how about we do cinnamon sticks? <laughs> and I love them. Smells amazing. Yeah. And they just like add so much to the board when it comes to like just like having little little like moments and decor items and you can stick them in and like no you don't have to eat it but it's it's allowed to be on the board yeah you can always put it in your cocktail you can always put it in your cocktail i always did oh, these cute little flowers you want to tell us a story about these oh those i ship from la so you ship them from la yeah you know, i order them every week um and edible flowers are a very big signature item of my tables my boards my spreads and I love doing all of the little like artsy details. Yeah, kind of They're like so elevate. Cute. I love that. Um, so yeah, okay. We have this little space here that I have for this cute little triple cream brie. Are you a brie lover? Yes. I love a brie on a brunch board because it goes great with fruit, and you can't go wrong. It's very light. It's mild. Yeah. So first we're gonna decorate it with some fruits on top, some rosemary, thyme, all that, and then oh, here, take some rosemary. All the rosemary yeah. in the world. And we're going to, I also have little chocolate reindeer, so we'll have to show you guys yours. And what we're gonna do is start just like stuffing rosemary in places. And <laughs> that's literally what it is. I, I can't make it sound any fancier than it is. I'm gonna have to send you a picture when I do my own, cause it's gonna, yes. be, it's gonna be like this, but probably you're gonna be like, no, spread things out. I'm always like so Well, have you heard about like, what Jen have, tells like, you? What? Like she'll be like decorating a shelf and she'll be like so she'll send me a picture and then I'll draw in like where to put the boxes. Are you serious? And send it back. Yeah, and she's she's like she's always been very supportive of my artsy talent, so she always reaches out to ask. So yeah, that's so nice. And that's I forgot to say how do we know each other? Yeah, that's how we know each other. We share a best friend. Yes. So it's like we basically know each other and I've heard so much that's about something. you from Jenny that like I always just feel What like does she say about me? Amazing things. Always. Just kidding, Jenny. She's love, the best. I love you, Jenny. You call her Jenny too? Are you mad at yeah. me, I feel like people from different parts of her life call her different things. There's a phase of people who call her Jen, and I feel like she doesn't like it as much. And then Jenny is like close friends. Okay. Yeah. You know? Because she's still Jen IG in my phone. We Do you want to know she's in mine? What? Jenny Four Walker, because that was her maiden name. And I have best. Oh, what's the four? Because her. <laughs> Her username used to be Jenny4, yeah. and so she used to like, that used to be like what I would always call her like at work and stuff, but um, she, I so I had Jenny, Jenny from work? Yeah, okay. it's like 10 years ago we met at work, or maybe even more now, but so Jenny4 in my phone, and then I had like the best friend emojis and like the snakes and the hearts, because you know when you're younger, you're dumb and you say your best friends like it's stupid, like all these emojis, Wait, so whenever she no. texts me, Okay. It's like Jenny Four Walker and like all these emojis like That's says hello because I, I I don't know I feel like I don't ever want to change anyone's contact name. Yeah, it's like you're attached thing. to it. It's yeah. like a moment. Yeah, I get it. So um, we're going in with a lot of rosemary oh, here, guys. It's so beautiful though. It adds a lot. It really I would does. never think to get that. So. What? I feel like yeah, I totally would. Well, I I think that. I need to think outside of just eating. Yes. The, you know. The, you need to think of the aroma the and just like yeah, the whole it. board. You love it? We're gonna do some time too. I love how mine is versus yours. It's hilarious. What? Yours looks great. I'm coming this on one's your side. Dead. This one's dead. <laughs> no dead rosemary on your charcuterie board. I don't know why half of them died. That's okay. So go in here and basically thyme is also another beautiful thing to layer on. And I love how it smells. It's I love the way that it smells and it gives us a different texture than the rosemary because it's thinner and it's got like, you know, just a different vibe. And it's very free flowing. This is it's we're got, getting artsy here, its but it's, it's got its own mind, its own hairstyle. Oh, I'm excited to make these now. But do you realize like Chris is gonna come home and you're gonna be like, here honey. Yeah. Cause it's I'm not I need all this. Yeah. You got a photo shoot to go to. I, I know, I know. We should have a party. Who am I? I want to have a photo shoot. I know. It's so hard. We have why, am I having, set up. why am I having a photo shoot and you're not? That's great. I know, I never do. It's so bad. I love these little, you know, nut clusters from... I love these nut clusters. <laughs> she really likes her nut <laughs> From Costco, and I'm leaving you the whole entire bag because you're going free. Oh my gosh. And I love this, the texture that it adds, and you can just really bring in some variety. I love it. Now I need this board too, which is like $500. Yeah. 
mm. or 600 it's it's or more than that uh, well i don't think it's 600 or 500 but it, it's definitely at least you know you know pottery barn yes but they're not giving you any deals but it's amazing. not it's no amazing. sponsorships from pottery barn yeah i mean yeah. I, that's as much of my dining room table cost but it's fine i know i know i know it's it's a thing. <laughs> all right so we're gonna do some cranberries and some blueberries and some blackberries. I'm actually gonna slice up a blackberry for the top of our brie cake. So we've got a little dimension. Love it. Love it. Um, now we're gonna do some honeycomb. I don't think I've honeycomb? ever seen, no, and I don't think I've ever seen a blackberry cut in half before. Are you kidding? No, because they can't change it all the time. They eat it all the time, but they don't cut They're it. so beautiful. And even if you it's just really cut up, like, look at this now, and then we're gonna cut it up. And it's like, okay, I didn't realize I was in a five-star restaurant coming here for Oh, when you throw it in the waffle. Oh, yeah. Doesn't That's it really, just add it such, really does. such beauty? It. See, I'm learning so much here. So much. We're going to take a nice, juicy honeycomb. And where do you get that from? Well, these I order on Amazon. So we'll <laughs> See, have a lot of links. Any, anytime I ask. We'll have a lot of Amazon. links. I didn't even know you could get honeycomb on Amazon. It's, it's, How do you eat that? I've never had it cheap. before. So you just kind of like slide it with the, with the um, knife, like with your slice of cheese. So you kind of just okay. like get a, you don't so like you, eat the, the whole, whole thing is edible? The whole thing is edible. Oh okay. yeah, honeycomb is a big movement with brie cheese. Really? Yes. And, and also it just smells fruit. so good. It Everything. smells so good. And it's just, it. it's just beautiful. It really um, is. Brian, for our final details, we're gonna do some edible flowers and we're gonna do some gold and we're gonna do some powdered sugar that looks like snow. Did you get the sifter? I sifter do out? have a okay. sifter. She's gonna get the sifter. Let me grab my sifter. She oh, has I wish they were gold. I know. I wasn't in a gold moment. That's okay. That's okay. I know I just love gold. So I love powdered snow for a winter moment, especially on a brunch board where we've got waffles and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'll, do you want to take the reins? I'll let you do some cute ones and kind of sprinkle them around. Yeah. They're also cute. They're also I'll leave any up. Do you want to I'll take one of these. This what? one, I feel like because it looks good on here. Um, and just like, you know, sprinkle them about wherever it feels good. I'm going to get... What happened to the gold? Just wherever you feel like. Look. I love that. I was going to tell you to do that. But I you were. Now. <laughs> okay. Perfect. 24 karat edible gold. That's my signature move. We're going to do some of that on the brie cake. I love, I love, love, love this little hint of detail. And then I also. So, so how do you put it? You put it on your finger and then. Yeah. And we're going to do some on the pomegranates. Just a little touch. So bougie, I love it. So bougie, you gotta be bougie. You gotta sometimes, stand out. Sometimes you just gotta stand out and crown. I love that. And these people are definitely doing that. So that's that. And last, literally last detail, we're gonna do some glitter, edible glitter. glitter and we're gonna everything. go poof, poof. And then it's gonna be just amazing and that's it. And then we're Can gonna see the poof, 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 poof. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just do some on. Oh, can you? Can Stop. you? Wait, I need. I this is. I this need is to a boomerang. Is I this a boomerang? Wait, let me. And I love some on the cantaloupe. It really just brings the fruit to life. I feel like I absolutely love it on grapes. I love it on blackberries. I love it on your it's hair. Pretty. I love it on my hair. I love glitter everywhere. But it's just so fun it's so for Christmas. Oh so beautiful. Amazing. And Evie's first birthday is this month, November 23rd. You're going to be doing glitter. She's doing Winter Wonderland. So it's just like all the I'll send you all the links. Stuff. Yes. All the links. I love it. It's so beautiful. It just makes everything like sparkly. So are you feeling good about this? Because I, I also just remember we have pomegranate seeds. Last thing we're going to do, we're just going to sprinkle them around. It's such a beautiful touch. I love to have a couple of them land on the green parts of the kiwi, on the green parts of the um, grapes. Just absolutely fun. Totally and I think gorgeous. we're done. I love it. Beautiful. Now we're gonna cheers. Okay. Cheers, guys. This cheers. is so fun. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you for inviting us into your beautiful, amazing kitchen. I've been like amazing. seeing it from the internet. Like I gotta get in there. Yeah, here she is. Here I am. She's here. I even changed out the pools to put gold in there for you. It's just amazing. And the re. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling.